Good morning everyone, how y'all doing? Today we are trimming our creeping fig. We planted this, I think it was spring 2020. We planted 16 plants in all. It covers about 60 feet of our back wall. Uh, I think it goes another 20 feet this way. I'm not sure, our, uh, but we have a couple of sheds right here. So we didn't plant it beyond uh, the first garden shed. Each of the plants were 12 inches tall. And in three short years, it's covered the entire wall. We did this last spring go in and put one more in the corner because it just wasn't quite covering the rest of the corner. And we just have just a small little portion of wall left uh, showing. And I'm just so impressed with the way it's covered. We've never trimmed it. What we have done throughout the years is feed it through each of the vines. I call it baling wire. I'm not sure if that's the right term, but we ran three of those on the wall. I know you don't need to do that, but I've seen so many creeping fig walls, whether it's the freeway or a drive-through where you can see, oh, look how beautiful it is. And then part of it's starting to peel away because of the weight. Now that could be due to them not trimming it often enough, um, but I just did not want that to happen to us. And that is why I went ahead and ran wire all the way across. Of course, now you can't see it because I knew the creeping fig would cover it. We ran black poly along the base and behind each creeping fig, we put in a five gallon per hour emitter. Prior to planting them, because this area had never been worked, we dug a hole about a month prior and filled it with gypsum and water. I won't say every other day, but as soon as I saw the water go down, I'd add more gypsum, I'd fill it up with water. And we did that for about a month. And I hope that maybe that helped once we planted them for them to establish good roots because we definitely have hard pan and I haven't had any of it die back. I haven't had any problems with it. And even just this last two weeks ago, my husband and I went behind the wall to see, okay, what's it looking like back there? Is it becoming a nuisance? And to my surprise, there's nothing back there. There's a couple little pieces barely up at the wall, but we have tried to be diligent about always keeping the top trimmed. So instead of using shears or, or hedge trimmers, I guess you call them, um, or just taking my Felcos, I decided, well, why don't we invest in an actual hedge trimmer? It's gonna make it quick. And um, it's, since we use everything from DeWalt, it's 22 inches and it's battery operated and it's light enough that I can handle it. Uh, but I know my husband will use it a lot. We, we, picked it up the other day and he was already trimming our neighbor's hedge. So this is gonna come in handy. He's gonna use it also probably for the oleander. I think that's about it. Uh, you will see a lot of redwood needle leaves at the bottom. I just went ahead and kept them there uh, because I normally clean them up a couple of times a week. But <laughs> I thought, well, let's just let it all be here and then I'll just clean it all up when I'm done trimming the creeping fig. But before I do that, I definitely want to give credit to Entertaining with Beth. This is where I got my idea. I wish I could say I came up with it on my own, but she was the one who inspired me. This was several years ago. She bought a house in Los Angeles, and these are her words. She says, I bought a tiny house on a big piece of land, and the way she um, split her yard up um, into gardens, it was just absolutely beautiful. And when I saw what she did with the creeping fig, I thought, mm, that's gonna be stunning. And of course now, I mean, it's been several years and her backyard is just stunning. And I, the channel that she had that on is in Beth's garden. I don't think she posts on there anymore, but she definitely posts all the time on entertaining with Beth. So I hope she doesn't mind me telling you guys that that's where I got my inspiration was from her. Um, I'm gonna start trimming and hopefully 
you'll be able to see a big difference. It'll look a little bit more cleaned up instead of all these scraggly ones that have been hanging down. And I did let it grow out a little bit just so we could do this video. What do you think? First time in three years we've actually trimmed it this much. I absolutely love it. I know I've said this so many times, but I'm so glad we planted this creeping fig. It's just such a beautiful backdrop for anything that we plant in front of it. And of course we have our walkway for Chief because he absolutely loves running around the yard. But I think it's all in all, for only it being in the ground for a little over three years, it's done pretty amazing and I couldn't be happier with it. It only took me about 10 minutes to do the whole hedge and the battery had more than enough life in it. I uh, took it out and used it with the blower just to clean up after I raked. So I definitely didn't you know, need to use more than one battery uh, just to do this and you know, it was, the more I use the tool, the more comfortable I'll be with it. And maybe it'll even go quicker because I won't be cutting quite so much. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.